Hi, Jean Burnett here. Um, I just wanted to share a little bit today about just the style of Tai Chi that I do and what makes it a little different. I call it sometimes a Chenish Young style in that it's a Young style, but it's a little bit of an older Young style that traces its roots back a little further, a little closer to the Chen. And so it's got some Chen style um, features that uh, some Young family styles don't have. For instance, here's a basic Young style Tai Chi movement, parting horse's mane, usually catch a catch a punch of some kind and rib strike or, or throw over the leg. Um, in our style, um, we sink when we take our step, because we're not really stepping. The real purpose of this is to load up the leg that's not stepping. So I'm going to load that leg up, and then I'm going to push up and out of the ground here. So I'm rising, turning, and then falling. So like the Chen style, every movement in our, what we call the symmetrical or double yang style, uh, Master Chung Da Chen put this that together, and um, it, it, it has this rise and fall within every movement. Every movement has a rise and fall in it, just like the just like the Chen style does. It's always connected to your legs. Also, the form itself, the frame of your body, it starts off small and gets big. So there's expansion, and then I'm going to just turn sideways to show this. There's contraction and expansion and contraction. So. The size of your frame is opening and closing gently throughout the form. This corresponds to any energy issuing activity, even just throwing a ball. Contraction, expansion, contraction. So the form shrinks and, 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 and grows in size. Um, another factor in our form that's a little different uh, is that we um, accelerate and then decelerate. Again, similar to throwing a ball. Accelerate, decelerate. You have to stop uh, or slow down and catch your, catch your momentum, otherwise it'll just keep going out here like that. So you come around for your push and then you settle the side. So those three factors are different from traditional young style stuff. Um, usually in young style it's one height all the time, and it's one size frame all the time, and it's one speed all the time. In this style you rise and fall with every movement, you change speed within every movement, and you change size within every movement. Um, we like this in particular because it's good training for actual pushes and actual strikes. Um, let me borrow you, John, if I could. If I'm going to give him a push and just push straight through him with no change in speed, I'm just going to go like that. You can see, um, resist me a little bit, John. Um, you can see that I'm just applying a straight push. It moves him a little bit. But if I can build up a little bit of speed, power and strength into him and then sink as I release it. I can, I'm rising a little into him to uproot him a little bit and then sink as I release it. Um, it, it. It really does make a difference. It's like a little slingshot. So I build it up and then there. And I'm okay. <laughs> I'm not going with him out of the plane. <laughs> right? Um, another, another factor in this is um, with striking too, if I'm going to strike and I'm going to throw my punch through him like that, I'm giving him a lot of energy. Whereas if I can settle like that, even if he deflects it, do that deflection again, and I've got something to back it up, so I'm not just throwing all my weight out there. So we have this uh, rise and fall, opening and closing, and acceleration and deceleration. Um, also in this style, because Master Chung really liked Bagua, um, we have movements like what we call high cloud hands, or middle cloud hands, that are based more on Bagua type movements. Our Fair Lady Work Shuttles has a, you know, Bagua flair to it. Um, there's a few other movements that are like that. And it's symmetrical, so we do left and right sides even. The sections of the form mirror image so that you um, exercise both halves of your body all the time. Your, your non-dominant side isn't going to get as strong as your dominant side, but it's at least going to get stronger so that you just feel more balanced and more, more ambidextrous. So those are some of the ways in which the double yang style, the symmetrical yang style of um, Chung Da Chen uh, further uh, evolved and developed by Andy Dale and a tiny bit by myself has uh, come to be uh, what I would call kind of a Chenish yang style. That's what I teach. Thank you.